Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So first things first, I'm gonna tell y'all a good, good story. Like I told y'all in the last video, I was gonna come back and tell y'all a good story. So I went to a, it's a Sheets in Maryland that I stopped to um, when I'm getting fuel sometimes. And this particular day, which was the other day, I ended up getting out and um, I was checking my load. But I climbed up on top of the trailer to um, check one of the straps that was there because I was making putting another strap on top just to make sure that um, the thing that I was carrying wasn't going to try to come forward. Anyway, so I'm on top of the trailer and then I hear this voice from behind me saying, get down from there, little girl. So I turn around like, you know, little girl. And he said it again, get down from there, little girl. So I turn around and it's this older guy standing there and I'm like, first of all, I'm a grown ass woman. Secondly, what you talking to me for? But anyway, you know, I was nice about it. So I was like, what did you say? He said, I said, get down from there, little girl. And I'm like, you do see that I'm a grown woman, right? So he was like, well, uh, how long? And he walks over to me now. And I, I've been telling y'all people, I don't like, we, we got to watch, you know, you got to back back. You got to give me a six feet at least, right? But I was standing on top of the trailer, so I didn't mind. So he walks over to my trailer and the strap that I was putting on um, the, the trailer needed to be buckled to the other side. So you over here now put the strap on, dog. So he takes the trail, the strap and didn't even know how to put the, the strap on. So now I got to come down off the trailer. So I'm like, see what I'm saying? When um, you need something done, you send a woman to get it done, okay? He was like, how you going to say that? You know, how you going to talk to me like that? First of all, you can't, you was in my business, all right? You was in my business. So I put the strap on and he's like, he's never seen a strap like that before. But he's telling me he did flatbed. So I told him, well, if you never seen a strap like this, then you was doing it wrong then. Because I didn't have these straps for forever and a day. They not new, they old. So, you know what I mean? It's not nothing that's like a new invention. It's a strap. So he proceeds to, uh, he's telling me like uh, how he was doing flatbed. And first of all, he complimented me because he said I had a beautiful set of choppers, okay? <laughs> That's how old this guy was. He was older. And so I laughed because who says that? But okay. So then he proceeds to ask me in the process, was I married? So I said, I'm single, but I'm taken. My, I'm not physically attached to anybody, but I've already been arranged in heaven. I have a, an, an arranged marriage, right? So he looked at me like, you know what I mean? That's a little weird, but okay. So I said, I'm a blessing, you know? He started smiling. Like the, the man is smiling at me the whole time because he's like in awe. He's saying, I can't believe a woman is talking like that. So he proceeds to tell me, he said, okay. He said, but are you, uh, can you have friends? No, I can't have no friends. I'm already spoken for, okay? So no, I can't have no friends. I can't have no impressions on me. Like, you know what I mean? At this point, you talking and you done came out of nowhere. And like I explained to him, I said, and furthermore, you even walking up on me like this. I know you must be a good person because you must know that God don't play about me. And the fact that you walking up on me like that, like you, you know, you done came in my vicinity now, he don't have that right now. He's not allowing that to happen. So you would drop dead where you are right now by walking up on me like that. So he again started laughing. So I said, um, so then he proceeds to start telling me about, you know, the women that he was dating, like how he was married to someone. And then this lady took five or 10 of his trucks or something, took a whole gang of money. He had to start all over that he has houses in, um, Florida. He has houses in Maryland. He has, like, he seemed to be a pretty wealthy man, you know, for his age and, you know, what he was doing. He was kind of well off. So for, so for somebody, he would be a good match, a good fit. So I asked him, I said, so he said his house in Florida, he, nobody lives in. So I said, why did, what do you do with your house in Florida while you're in Maryland? And he says that, um, it's just 
vacant. So I said, why are you not making, letting the house make money for you? Because you know, you can Airbnb it. There's a couple of different things that you could actually do with that house while it's sitting. Why would you let it sit when it can make an income for you? He was like, well, you know, because I have renters and I said, that's not the way it goes. Like for some of these um, places, it's like management companies. This He said, oh, and you're smart too. Okay. So I finished, you know, telling him what he needed to know. And then, so now by this time, like I got to go cause I'm doing stuff. Like I was getting my fuel. I was, you know, so I'm trying to keep it to where I'm still in the right timeline because I got stuff to do. So, and I, you know, he's like, uh, and he proceeds to tell me how he married somebody else. And you know, these, and like I explained to him, I said, you have to ask, since you've been married twice, now you have to go to God and ask God, you know, like to fix it, ask God to send somebody like I, I'm not available. I'm already, um, arranged. So I'm not available, but, um, so now you seem like a pretty good dude. You are well off women like that. So you should now ask God to send you your counterpart. And he said, he never thought of it like that. He never, you know, so of course, he now says, because I guess he was getting out of his truck when he saw me on top of the truck, so on top of my truck. So now I'm, we're, we got to walk in the store. So he said he had to walk in the store as well. So he's walking and talking with me. And he's saying that, um, so I said, you do realize like right now is a good time, you know, just to talk to God about stuff because we're in a, like, this is amazing, an amazing time. There's blessings falling out of the sky. So right now would be the perfect time for you to go to God and, you know, talk to him about the things that you want, you know, that is, you know, happening in life. So once I told him that, he says he never heard a person talk the way I was talking to him. And he said that was pretty refreshing because it was different. Like he never known, he ne he's never heard a woman really talk about God like that or just let him know, like even, you know, the, the, the business stuff that I was talking to him, him about, cause this was short, but it was fast, but you know, some, I, I know a little bit about some things so I can, you know, anyway, long story short, that man, and I, and I told him, I said, you know, one thing right now that the impression that I just gave you, you'll never forget me ever in life. That man is never going to forget me ever in life. All behind one meeting, behind me showing up, being present at the place, being receptive to his conversation because, you know, normally, like I said, I'm in and out. I have on glasses, a mask, because listen, I don't want nobody to talk to me. I don't want nobody near me. Like I am in my own zone right now. But this day, I was receptive. This day, I was, because I'm trying to figure out like, and sometimes that's the thing. Being present and showing up makes somebody else's day, makes somebody else happy, makes somebody else like, now that man has a thought in his brain about what he, you know, something that could help him later or maybe now, you know, because if he gets it done, um, he's already seems to be pretty well off from what I gather. But now that's an extra income because why leave your houses sitting, especially if you're not using them? Um, so he told me that that was one thing he appreciated, the fact that I gave him information. Um, but he said he was looking forward to seeing me again in life because he knew I would do great things. So that just made me smile because he was right. I definitely am. I asked him if he was on YouTube. He told me no. So I didn't get a chance to give him my YouTube. But the fact that the matter is, is he already knew. He saw my, what I'm giving. He saw the fact that he knew that at some point in time in life, there's a platform that he will see me on again because of what I said to him. And that was just for me. I don't even think it was a five minute conversation. If that, because it was literally me on top of the truck and walking him into the store, like us walking into the store together, period. And then I went my way, he went his way. That was it. But that encounter just was something that will leave an impression on that man. My, um, or my presence, me being, cause we, I don't know what that man was going through, you know, in his life or at that time. But the fact of the matter is, is that impression will now be left on him for forever. And he will see me again because, you know, God already ordained it. Okay. So, 
And you know what I pray for that man? That next time he sees me, because I don't know if I'll ever see him, but he probably will see me. Um, that he really goes to God and asks God to send him his counterpart because he seemed like a very good dude. Be present. You never know who God is trying to, what's going on in a person's day that could help that person even just move along through their day. Um, sometimes we're so caught up in our own stuff that we are, we don't see that there's somebody that could use a kind word, uh, just anything. And that day I was receptive because like I said, normally I got on my glasses, normally I got on a mask. This day I didn't have on any of that. I was just standing there being productive in my life, getting some stuff done. And a person decided to communicate with me, which was fine, you know, but he wanted something I can't give him. But just so you ladies know, there are wealthy men walking around in the streets every day looking to, you know, find somebody, wipe somebody up. I'm just not here for, you know, just anybody. I'm already taken. I'm single. Don't have the, the I got, cause I gotta keep saying it. Cause y'all people keep trying to like, you know what I mean? Come for me for stuff. I'm single, not texting, not talking, not, uh, emailing, nothing, none of that. Not even sexing, no sex, not nothing. Have not done a thing. Cause I gotta keep repeating it. Cause y'all people nosy, y'all people nosy and y'all people keep trying to give me just whatever. No ma'am, no ham, no sir. Not doing anything, working, minding my business, loving God, and but I'm letting y'all people know it's people out here that is just they walking right up to me, so I don't know why they not walking up to y'all. Um, blessings falling out the sky, so that's why I keep trying to tell y'all. Um, a prearranged marriage is not a, a bad thing, especially when it comes from God. You got to know what you know that you know and mind your business and just go on and, you know, live your life and wait till it shows up because it's going to come. It's going to come. Like I said, they walking right up to me in the street. So I don't know why y'all acting like y'all can't find them. But maybe that's just me because I live in love. So thanks for coming to my channel. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.